Well, hey, what's up, Raw and Real Entrepreneurs? I hope you're having an amazing day. And if you haven't yet checked out my podcast, Raw and Real Entrepreneurship on iTunes, Spotify, everywhere you listen to podcasts, go and check it out. I have interviewed almost 300 amazing entrepreneurs and there is inspiration, there is motivation, and there is an interview just for you. Today, I wanna to talk to you about this concept. I don't have time to start a business. And that might be you or it might be someone you know, and it is one of the most common roadblocks to starting any business, this concept that I just don't have enough time. And you might be saying, well, Susan, you don't understand. I'm a single mom. I'm a single dad. I'm working two jobs. I am overwhelmed. I'm already exhausted. I can't even get my workout in. Breathe. As your coach, as your mentor, as your friend, the thing I want to say to you is yes, you can. We all have more time than we actually realize. And when we step back and take a look at it, guess what? We can always find the time to start a business. And part of the problem and the reason you might not be starting the business is because you think it takes a lot of time. And the reality is it doesn't take that much time. A business, any great business isn't started in one day. It's a series of small steps taken over days, weeks, months, and sometimes even years. So with that, I want to give you three tips to rethinking this concept of time and getting you where you need to be starting that dream business. and I'm on a mission to be a stand for entrepreneurs who are going to start businesses that solve the problems we have today and the problems we don't even yet know of. So the first tip I wanna give you is around time. So we all have a universal commodity called time. There are 24 hours in a day. And you know, let's start to break those down. So let's say you slept for eight hours. Most people sleep for about six and a half hours, but let's say you are a sleeping unicorn and you sleep for eight hours, which kudos to you, that is awesome. I sleep for around seven to seven and a half myself. I used to say, I'll sleep when I die. And then I gave myself multiple sclerosis and I had to change that whole thing. So now I am very committed. I know for me, my number is seven to seven and a half hours. Then let's say you are going to exercise, you're gonna you know, get ready for your day shower, all that kind of stuff. So let's say that's two hours, now we're at 10 hours. Let's say that you have a job and you're gonna be at your job for say eight hours and uh, ideally and you might be saying, well, I work about 10 hours. So let's say eight to 10 hours. So now we are up to 20 hours and then there's family time and administrative time. And you may say, well, Susan, that's the 24 hour day. I just don't have any more time. I want to begin by sharing a story. In, 20, in 2003, I was a mom to a five-year-old and a one-year-old. And we knew that our one-year-old was delayed. He wasn't quite um, crawling properly. He wasn't walking properly. And then our five-year-old was gifted. She was already speaking four languages by the time she was five and reading full chapter books. So I had a lot going on. And on top of it, I was working for a charitable foundation. I was also seeing nutrition clients part-time and doing consulting and teaching fitness classes. And we had just moved to back to the small town that we grew up in, in Ontario, Canada, my husband and I. And there I was. And I I wanted the freedom of having my own business. I didn't want to go to an office. I wanted to work from home. I wanted to be there for my kids. And that was my dream. So the first thing I want to say to you is why do you want to start a business? What is it for you? Is it that time freedom? Is it being your own boss? Is it deciding your worth, not have some having someone else decide it for you? Whatever that is, it's your reason. There's not, not a right one or a wrong one. So that was mine. 
back in those days. And, and I started to really think about it and dream about it. In the morning, I'd go for a super quick workout. Sometimes it was a 20 minute run, a 30 minute run. It wasn't really long, but I kept just dreaming about what it would be like to have all of the freedom to dictate what I was doing with my time, to be at home with my son. I start to think about him and his little Oshkosh overalls. We'd be digging in the garden and planting flowers. And that's, that's what I dreamed about every single day. And I thought if I could get to $10,000 a month, I could definitely stay at home. I can contribute to our house. And that was my goal. It was a pretty big goal at the time because I was only making about $20,000 a year. So when I was presented with the opportunity to start a business from home in the nutritional space, I had to figure out where I was going to find time. And so here's what I did. I did not go for lunches. I started to take my lunch break. I would go home and I would work on my business and I would send out messages to people, emailing potential customers. And then when my husband got home from work as an accountant, sometimes that wasn't until um, late, you know, after the kids went to bed, I said from eight to 10, I'm going to reach out to potential customers. And that's what I did. And so I didn't watch TV. We didn't have cable television and uh, we didn't have social media back in those days. So that's what I did. And, you know, I'm not saying this is going to happen for everyone. It took a lot of work, but I did get to that goal of being able to stay at home with my son. I did get to plant those flowers and it took me uh, almost a year to get there. And so every moment that I wasn't working, that I wasn't with my kids, I was focused on taking some very, very simple actions. And I'll get to that in just a minute. So that's the first thing I want to say is making time where you don't see time. If you are commuting, my friend Mia, she built a business and on her way to work, she would reach out to prospective clients. And on her way home from work, she would reach out to prospective clients. She had a 45 minute commute each way and she used that time to build her business. So you do have that time. And just, I want you to pause and think about it. Where is it that you have some time? Are you commuting? Could you not um, go for lunches? Could you step out of the office and go somewhere and work on a business? What could you do with the time you have to optimize it better? Number two is what are you willing to give up in the short term to gain everything you want in the long term? So I mentored this couple and they, she was an attorney, he was a police officer and they wanted to build a business and they were both working 60, sometimes 70 hours a week and they had a young son. And so one of the first things they did was give up cable television. They said, we'll plug it back in when we reach our goal of replacing one of our incomes. And they were both making multiple six figures and that's what they did. They did not use cable. They didn't watch, you know, any television shows. Their friends would be like, Oh, have you seen the show? Or they're sort of like, no. And so that's what they chose to give up. And they realized that they were watching two to three hours a night of television. So they decided to dedicate that to their business. And so in a very short time, they were able to step away from one of their careers and the other partner, they waited a little longer to retire from their career. And they've been working together ever since for over a decade um, on their business. And so it is possible, we all waste time. So maybe for you, it's social media, maybe it is, you know, television, whatever it is, there are other things you could be doing with your time, right? Time is about a choice. So could you for say a year or two years, give up something that isn't serving you in the present to create something that is going to serve you for the rest of your life? And the answer not with me is absolutely yes. The third thing is my favorite, favorite tip to give to aspiring entrepreneurs. It's three actions a day. And so I want you to get a notebook and then just commit to three actions a day towards starting and growing your business. And that could be one action might be researching a potential business. One might be, um, you know, reaching out to potential customers. One might be taking time to um, understand, you know, how to create a product or a service um, or, you know, looking at competition 
competition in your sector. And if you are not sure what it is you should be doing for those three items a day, I have a very special thing to tell you. And that is on susanslide.com, I have a brand new free checklist. And these items, it tells you exactly what are the things you need to start a successful business. And it doesn't matter what kind of business it is. These are fundamentals. There is no fluff. There is no nonsense. It's just the basics. So you download the checklist and you check it off. And then what that's going to help you do is figure out where your gaps are and what it is you need to be doing. And so I want to encourage you to go to susanslide.com, get the checklist. It is going to absolutely help you. And it's going to be tremendous for you because taking those three actions a day, think of it like this. If you do three actions a day and you did five days a week, that's 60 items a month. After one year, you took 720 steps toward your goal of starting a business. Do you think by taking 720 steps or actions that after a year you would be starting your business? Nod with me again. You better believe you would. Anyway, I just want you to know I am proud of you. I am praying for you. And just know that you can. Yes, you can. You can start a business no matter what you've got going on in your life. And I want you to know that I am here for you. So drop a comment below. I'm the one who answers all of your comments. And um, if this video is helpful, please share it. If you have an idea for a video or if you've got a question, go to studentslide.com, submit a question. I would love to answer your question in a video. So with that, God bless, go rock your day, and I will see you in a future video.